And welcome back to my channel. As always, love having you guys here. And it is day six of Swim Week here on my channel. And today we are trying on bathing suits from Always For Me. Now, if you've never heard of Always For Me, they are a, a swimsuit brand that has a lot of different um, other brands kind of thrown in the mix that they sell to you as well as their own in-house brand. So I have four bathing suits for them today. They were kind enough to send me these bathing suits and actually three of them were sent to me when I was going to Ghana. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would recognize two of them because I wore both of them while I was actually in Ghana. And if you've seen any of my swim week advertisements on Instagram or here on YouTube, I actually have to the bathing suits on. So I cannot wait to uh, talk about those today. But before we get into that, if you're new to my channel and you're just stumbling on in, welcome. My name is Shayna of ethicosclosset.com and it is my swim week. I am doing seven full days of trying on plus size bathing suits. So uh, welcome. <laughs> so I feel like you should go ahead and subscribe right down below because I'm awesome. My subscribers are awesome. And you just go ahead and just join the awesome fam. Just come on in. We accept everybody over here. But <laughs> if you're my oldie, hey, but a goodie, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know your girl has got nothing but love for you. So that both of you, please make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss another upload for me, especially for the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and try these bathing suits from Always For Me. So of the four bathing suits that I have, only one of them is a two-piece. And so that's what I'm gonna show you first, and it's by Ann Cole. Now Ann Cole is actually one of my favorite brands from Always For Me because her stuff is always just very like chic, you know, very cute, but like elegant in its own way. And so when I saw this two-piece, I was like, oh, Yes, I have to have this and I actually wore this in Ghana. I will post a picture somewhere up here of me wearing it shot by an amazing photographer. Her name is Lauren, so I will link her information down below. She shot this picture of me in Ghana and girl got all of the goodness. Um, so it looks like this. This is the top of it. You can see it has kind of like the very nice detail in the middle of the bust here. And it has removable cups, but these cups are a lot better quality than some other ones. So it doesn't flip and fold um, to make it, you know, really looking weird and goofy around the bus line. There is underwire, so there's support, but these things is the cups are removable. If you don't want to have these, the molded pads in here, you can take them out and just have the soft up, the softness of the bra, but you still have the underwire. So you can definitely be supported. Nice wide straps that are adjustable. Now the back does not give you a lot of color. So if you're looking for coverage with the back, this is not really for you. But it has one of these nice little hooks. This hook is like quality once it's in there. But girl, it's in there. You hear me? <laughs> um, so that is the back of it. So there's not a lot of coverage if that's what you're looking for. And then these are the bottoms. The bottoms are super high waisted. <laughs> so they do come up quite high. You guys know by now, if you've been watching all week, I love high-waisted uh, swimsuit bottoms. These feel phenomenal. They have really great stretch, really give good support and hold you in. That's what I like when it comes to my bottoms that I'm held and that is just my personal preference. And I have a 20W in this because for me personally, and cold bathing suits tend to run a little bit small on me and I, especially with the bottoms, I did not want them cutting off too much because then it would cut me in my stomach and then we would just have like a, a self-made you know, muffin top and I was not here for that. So, um, yeah, so and I think the print is very pretty, made very well, like you could just, the, when you feel her bathing suit, you just feel the quality in it and I'm just like, oh, it's all worth it in the end, baby. So now I, the next bathing, three bathing suits I have are all going to be one pieces and the first one is actually from Jessica Simpson. Now if you did not know, Jessica Simpson has leased her name on clothing lines over the last few years and her bathing suits are actually some of my favorites. I've tried them, I've tried on her bathing suits in other stores and I've never had an issue with any of her bathing suits. So this one piece I was completely obsessed with because it is an off the shoulder one piece. Clearly you guys 
guys, we have kind of like an off the shoulder theme happening here. So it looks like this. The color is very muted, but be, but it lets the bathing suit be very sexy. Now, it did come with straps. I took mine off and I uh, misplaced them. I don't know where my straps are. <laughs> um, but I actually really needed the straps for this because the arms did not want to stay up and the cups are made it's like a like a bandeau situation happening here soft cups no molding uh in here and no underwire so this is definitely in my opinion made for a bit a larger bust because it did not it was struggling i had so much room along my bus line in this that i had to keep pulling it up so i definitely would have preferred if i did not lose my dang on straps to actually wear the straps with this bathing suit because I needed it. Um, this bathing suit, I have it a 2X. Her 2Xs fit me like perfect. I never had a problem of sizing up or sizing down with her bathing suits. The 2X fit very well, easy to pull on, slipped in really easily. And maybe that's why the top is so wide open, I don't know. But um, just the, the top of the bathing suit was entirely too big for me. So if you are much heavier chested, I would definitely give this a try because I feel like you would fill it out the way it should look. Um, and I think you will look bomb. Bomb AF. Um, and so this, so this is the ruffle part of it, as you can see, and then this is like the under part. And this is basically what the bra, the bra is. So yeah, I mean, it's very nice. It's just entirely too big for my top. The next one piece is from Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole, I think always, always to me has like all of my favorite like swimwear designers mixed into one. Because every year I buy a Kenneth Cole bathing suit every single year because like I'm obsessed with, with like his bathing suits. They fit like so well. Um, so this is what it looks like. How fun is this? And then this is the side of it like hell yes your whole side is out girl and I'm completely here for all of it. So I have mine I believe in a 2X. That's what I usually wear in all of his bathing suits. Very, very nice. The only thing is I feel like I need more support. Um, being that I don't have perky boobies, um, I need my bathing suits to pull me in and hold me up and I felt like I could use like a tad more support in this bathing suit. So here, the bus, um, they do have the removable cup thingies. Eh, they're, they're, they're okay, they're not like horrible, but they could have some more support. And as you guys can see, it's a very wide neckline, so I would have liked for it to kind of be a little bit more up and pulled together, but that's just my personal preference. There is not a lot of hold in this bathing suit, if that makes any sense. Like the material is not super thick, so um, and with the sides being, if you're looking to be like held in, uh, this is really not for you because I mean, it doesn't have like a lot of suck you in support. And I mean, maybe you're not into that in every one of your bathing suits. Maybe you like, you know, to kind of have a little bit more of a looser feel and that's that's fine. And I'm not saying it's bad, just an observation. The uh, straps are fully adjustable. And uh, yeah, so it's a very basic, but very super sexy bathing suit. And I saw it on Christina Mendez and I was like, oh, come on, Christina. Um, and yeah, so and it actually, when I put it on, I thought it would have been more high cut, but it's not really, it, you could have adjust it so it's not sitting so far up your belly and that's not what you want and again this is something you could wear to the beach put it under some shorts or a skirt and you could walk around the boardwalk go out you know so it definitely has double wear to this and that's always a major plus for me and the last bathing suit is my super favorite of this entire video i actually wore this one in ghana i wore it on the beaches of the cape coast i wore this in the motherland and it is bomb <laughs> and it's from the brand blue rod beady and i like stumbled upon them when i was trying on bathing suits two years ago in macy's and i was like oh, uh, uh, let me let me find out and so if I get a chance to try them on I definitely do because it is a thousand percent worth it and this is the one piece I love this one for many 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 reasons first of all I love kind of the high neck and then it crisscrosses here in the back I love that the back is quite low so it shows a lot of back it's very sexy and this did have the the insertable cups i took them out because one of them was actually missing so i was like there's no point in having only one in that's kind of like why uh, but i like my girls look so good in this like i don't know what it is and the way it's holding me up but like my girls is in there and there's like a level of support in here because there's actually a bra band underneath here. So you're gonna feel the support right under the bust line where your normal bra probably would sit. I have mine in a 2X, 
fits phenomenally, not high waisted. I did not have to fight to get in this. Like I literally pulled it up and then put my arms in. Like I was completely obsessed with this. When I wore this in Ghana, it was just like, I needed to be on the beach with this. And I love this one. And I love the print. The print is also absolutely adorable. And as you can see there, it has like the lace up situation happening. Like it really is just a beautifully well-made bathing suit. And I noticed with a lot of their bathing suits, they have like a, a lace up situation or something that's see-through or a mesh that kind of gives you a very sexy vibe, but you're not overtly sexy. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, maybe you don't always want to be like blah, 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 boom in your face, but you still want to feel like you'd have it. <laughs> you'd have it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm completely obsessed. This is like literally my favorite. The straps are adjustable here in the back. Even the hardware is very nice. Like I just, it, their bases are just always made super duper well. And I have literally nothing bad to say about this one. Like I love this one. And y'all gonna see me next this summer too. Don't think you ain't gonna see it again on Instagram. So there you have it, you guys. That was my Always For Me bathing suit try on. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to the Always For Me team for sending these bathing suits. They have been behind me for a very, very long time. So I'm super grateful to the entire team for all of their help. So I cannot wait for you guys to see tomorrow, our last day, day seven tomorrow. Ew. And why I'm so excited about that particular video is because it is going to be all small businesses that are all woman owned. And three of them are black owned. And I cannot wait for you guys to see what I got coming up because a couple of them been on New York Fashion Week runways. You know, see the man videos. You see them all over Instagram. So I cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love what's coming up um, tomorrow's video. And just a last announcement before I get out of here. If you're going to be in Miami, around Miami, near Miami, wanna fly to Miami in July, July 13th through, through July 15th, I will be in Miami at Miami Curbs Weekend, rocking out with the biggest, baddest, plus size swimsuit weekend there is. I cannot wait and I'll be going with a brand called Mahogany Janelle and they'll be actually in my video tomorrow. So I cannot wait for you guys. And if you live in Miami, please, 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 I would love to come for you guys to come on out, support Miami Curves Week. It is gonna be an awesome, awesome weekend. So now that I got all my announcements out the way, I'm gonna get on out of here and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys, deuces. <laughs>